See how do you turn ordinary to extraordinary? How do you turn a dental practice into something different than just a dental office? How do you distinguish yourself? So this is one of those things. You choose, or you have chosen so far in your life, not to behave like a good leader. It's all about behavior, you see. And if you simply follow the traits of good leaders and behave like them, you will be a good leader. People very often say, well, what do we need to get new patients in? I'll say, at your level, you should be asking yourself, what are you currently doing to keep them away? Again, this is accepting responsibility. Success now is creating a balance of spiritual awareness, good health, good family ties, good friendships, a profitable practice, happy patients, happy staff, and making a difference in local and world communities is that my observation is that those people who are highly successful have a very clear picture of what success is for them. And about the other, and that's true for the rest of the world. And the other 95% wander around aimlessly for most of their life wishing something would change. Wishing that somebody, somehow, they'd win the lottery, even though they're not buying tickets. They wish that lightning would strike someplace and all of a sudden they'd be successful.